we're just gonna hope and pray that I'm in focus, but what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori. We have just moved out of our camper and into our very first home after five years on the road. We lived in multiple self-converted camper vans and then decided we needed a little bit more space and tried out RV life. And after five years on the road, we decided we were finally ready and had finally found a place that felt like home. We spent the last few days getting all moved in and settled and Josh has now taken off in the van to Ohio. That's where we originally from and where we started our van life journey. And we have a storage unit there that we honestly haven't touched in five years. And I'm really curious to see what he comes back with. I know we have like a mattress and a couple of small furniture pieces in there. But other than that, it's going to be an interesting surprise and hopefully we don't have too much stuff. I woke up feeling really under the weather today. I think with like all the stress of the last month of like shopping for homes, buying homes and moving that now that I'm finally settled, it kind of just all caught up to me and I feel like garbage. But I threw on a little bit of makeup and got myself ready because that always helps me feel a little bit better because I had some stuff I wanted to do today, have some Facebook marketplace finds to go pick up and maybe a few little DIY thrift flips too. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. It's honestly been such an interesting transition from like RV life to house life. Obviously it's been very easy to settle in because everything is just so comfortable, but it's been kind of strange to like go from such a small space to such a large space and not have a lot of things to fill it. The first few days it didn't feel very homey to me because it was very empty. The house that we purchased is also like really gray and white, which just feels really sterile and cold to me. So I've been working on warming it up, making it feel nice and cozy. But yeah, it's all kind of feeling so surreal. Obviously we love van life and we are not selling our van. We live in an area that we're so close to so much incredible nature that the van is honestly going to be so perfect for us to just pack up and go enjoy our weekends. I got a nine to five. I'm officially gonna be a nine to five girly, but my new job, I'm going to be a full-time videographer and video editor. And that just feels so surreal to say because it's such a huge passion of mine. And it's honestly so crazy that my YouTube channel that I started four years ago now, wow, has turned into a full-time career. That just feels like such a full circle moment. I literally just got goosebumps. I am so thrilled. But yeah, I thought I would just pick up the camera, make this a fun little weekend. We'll see how much I get done today. It's actually like kind of gloomy and rainy out. So that does put a damper on a couple of the projects that I wanted to do, but my body is also kind of telling me to rest. So I might just go and grab my Facebook marketplace things and just kind of have a chill day, maybe an indoor project or two. We shall see. But I am really enjoying getting back in the swing of filming and sharing. So hopefully, like I said, that this is in focus. My vlog camera is actually in the van that Josh is now halfway across the country with. So, but I've got the Sony all set up. So if you notice a difference in quality, we will be back with our regular camera next week. But Josh is actually also bringing back a huge surprise that I can't wait to share with you guys. So make sure you stick around, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, because we are going to be on a home renovation, thrift flip, and just life in general journey. And I'm so excited. Okay, we're gonna do a little errands moment fit check. I'm adding this hat that I thrifted a while back. It just says Big Sky because it is raining, of course, the one day I like decide to fix my hair. And then this purse I thrifted for like $2. It is so cute, I've been loving using it. Great everyday bag. I just have this sweater on. I found this at Uptown Cheapskate last week. I ran in because they were having a 25% off sale and I needed some office girly clothes. My job is business casual, but I'm not really into wearing jeans if I'm just gonna be like sitting for eight hours. So I wanted to get some comfy slacks, dressier shoes, things like that. And then I just added my Ugg slippers because I truly don't take them off unless I have to. <laughs> but this is what we're going with and time to pick up some Facebook Marketplace gold. Car definitely needs a bath. <laughs>
Jackson in his like plant dad era, especially now that we have the house, I wanted him to like really lean into that. I've never had a green thumb, actually quite a plant killer myself, but I love having greenery. So I found two little plants on Facebook for $10. Plants at Home Depot are like really expensive, you guys. So little plant babies for my baby. They're so cute. Those are such good trimmings. Um, they'll be great for like shelves. I found a ton of really nice wood shelves at the thrift and I needed some plants for them. Okay, this definitely ended up being a little bigger than I was expecting, but I got this bookshelf for $25. So hopefully the mirror fits too. Always an adventure. I probably definitely shouldn't be moving furniture uh, with my shoulder, but bigger than I thought. Don't have a lot of books. I never really had space. But definitely got a couple. Hey Poppy. Oh wow. Okay, I think I'm starting to feel worse, not better, which um, honestly sucks, but I think I have enough energy for just one project today and I think I'll save the rest for tomorrow. I just like cleaned this up. It was super, super dusty. Honestly, <laughs> hopefully it's still dusty. Hopefully I got it clean enough. But I found this at the thrift store. It's a little magazine holder, but the ends are cowboy boots and I thought it was so cute. So I grabbed it. It was like a couple dollars, but I'm not really keen on the black. So I put on my project clothes and I picked up some of this, what is the color? Oh, dark walnut spray paint. And I'm just gonna throw a couple of coats on this and let it dry. It looks like the rain is letting up. So this will be our project for the day. And then I'm putting on my pajamas and making some dinner and turning it early. Welcome to our garage. This is the project we'll hopefully be tackling tomorrow. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> not me breaking it before I even get to use it. Oh, shit. Y'all, I think I broke it. Okay, this is an epic fail already. Love that for us. Um, I don't think I still have a receipt for this, so let's see what we can figure out here. <sighs> okay, so I think this is how we're gonna do it, and then we're gonna smooth it out <laughs> with a paintbrush. Wow, I'm just having like the worst luck this week. Okay, and this has been DIY Fails with Tori. Okay, so my glove popped. Um, so I've got a brown finger, I think, that I got some on my face as well. Um, this project truly could not have gone worse, but I think I got it done and I didn't waste the can of spray paint. But at least the sun is out now, so hopefully that will dry quickly. Like I said, I wasn't really trying to like have this be perfect. I kind of like the rustic look. So if it doesn't turn out like 100% perfect. I think that will be okay, but hopefully my projects tomorrow go a little bit better.
I'm still trying to remember where I put everything. There it is. Since we were in the van and the camper, I was never a really big pajama girly. All of my closet space was really limited. So I slept mostly in like hoodies, leggings, stuff like that that could also double as clothes. But since I'm in the house, I'm entering my pajama girly era. I got these at Fred Meyer. I thought they were so cute. The fabric is so soft and they are very comfy. And now it's time for girl dinner. Freezer egg rolls for the win. I honestly just do not have the energy to cook anything. I think you could do these in the oven, but I usually just do them on the stove because that's what I was used to in the camper. So that's what we're doing. Good morning, you guys. I am still feeling really terrible, so I ran back to Walgreens today to grab some more medicine, and I've just got like a little icy hot patch on. My neck, like specifically like in this area, has been so sore this entire time that I've been sick, so I'm hoping that helps. My car is actually having some issues now too. It's been idling really rough and stalling out on me. So that's really fun. So we're going to have a house day today. Even though I am still feeling really terrible, I just feel like I'm not going to let this weekend defeat me. So we're still going to try and do a couple of projects. I have a chair that I want to reupholster and then the nightstand in the garage that I showed you guys yesterday. I want to strip the white paint off. I found them at the thrift store for $10 a piece. One of them was natural wood, so stunning. And the other one, it looks like they started to paint it white and like gave up. So I'm gonna see if I can pull that white paint back off. I've never used paint stripper before. This is definitely more of like a Josh project, but I am an impatient queen. So we're gonna see what we can get done today. I've got my project hoodie back on. There definitely were some more decorative elements added yesterday with the spray paint. Um, the Icy Hot feels so good. Wow. It's honestly just been a huge bummer to feel this terrible, like right when we move into the house. I was like so excited about all these projects and all these things I wanted to get done and I just haven't had the energy. But we are out here doing what we can. <laughs> okay. The bookshelf is looking so cute. But here is the chair that I thrifted. I found this beauty for $7, $7.99 actually. Um, I absolutely love like this part, but I'm not super keen on the blue. So I actually also thrifted this beautiful like mustard color fabric for $3. And this is actually already loose. Um, so I'm just going to pull this off and reupholster this bad boy and see if I can't figure out how to put it back together. Okay, I'm just going to use an upholstery stapler for this. I just grabbed this at Walmart. Um, I'm not really sure how this is attached, to be honest. Looks like there may have been screws at one point. Ah, there we go. Oh, no, those are screws. Okay. <laughs> Not really sure how I'm going to put this back on yet, but that's a problem for later. <laughs> so as you can see, like the upholstery, you just staple it on the edge. So I'm just going to cut this fabric to size. I probably won't take the blue off. I'll just put the mustard over it because this is like a really thick fabric. You'll have to excuse Bear and her squeaky toy in the background. It is truly a love affair. Soundtrack of my life, honestly. So I don't want to have too much excess because you have to staple into the wood and I want to pull it like pretty tight so that it's not like loose. I recommend like fabric scissors, especially for like upholstery fabric. Oh my goodness, Bear! Are you being noisy? are usually 
like the trickiest part to get them to like kind of lay and you want them to level and loosen up so you want to try and pull it like as tight as you can brand new cushion wait that looks so good okay so now i just have to figure out how to reattach it figure this should be relatively easy to at least get like one of them attached maybe two. Oh, this one is like already sick okay. it'll be substantially easier i imagine with the drill our project shelf at the moment. I will get around to organizing this at some point, but today is not that day. Okay, our next project is this nightstand that I got for ten dollars. Whoever, whoever owned it before me went to paint it white and didn't finish and gave up and donated them I guess, um, but it's Solid wood underneath, so stunning. Again, so weird that they did it to only one. I called Josh to ask if he had any tips on using this like paint stripper stuff, and his tip for me was to read the instructions, if that tells you anything about how I usually do projects. So I guess we'll be reading the instructions. Okay, so we have paint stripping varnish. And I already can tell I was not prepared for this project because I did not realize there was a second step. There's a paint stripper after wash that we'll be using as well. So, okay. Instructions. It's easy to use because it stays wet and active for 24 hours. Five layers of paint in under an hour and is safe for indoor use. And it smells like citrus. Love that. Protect hands with gloves and eyes with Goggles. Josh said I would need one of these. Okay, goggles. Shake well and pour into a container and apply with a paintbrush. Hmm. Paintbrush and container. After 30 minutes, up to 24 hours, scrape to see if it's finished. Okay. Ew, that does not smell like citrus. False. I don't really know how much I'll need, so we'll start with uh, just a little. Oh, this smells terrible. It doesn't really say if I should apply like a lot or a little. So we're just going for it. It's freaking freezing out today too. Oh, it's like already bubbling. It's a good sign, right? They truly ruined this beautiful piece of furniture with this white paint and I'm so happy that we are bringing her back to life. Let me know your thoughts on these cabinet pulls. Um, I kind of hate them, but they are original. And I'm trying to decide if I should replace them or not. My sister said they are vintage, but I probably should have pulled the hardware off. I'm not sure, like, what kind of reaction the chemical will have to the metal. So if I ruin them, I guess that solves my problem. It probably will not take that long to pull this up because it said it could like remove like a bunch of layers of paint, but there's like barely a layer of paint on here. So 
probably could just wait like 30 minutes to an hour, but we shall see. That's actually really satisfying. Hey, she's definitely not perfect, but considering where we started, I'm really pleased. I think if I just hit this with like a little bit of sandpaper and varnish, it's gonna look so nice. It's already looking so much better than when we started. And honestly, I'm going for kind of like a rustic look in the bedroom anyway. So even if it's not perfect when it's done, I'm so happy with how it turned out for 10 bucks. I will say, that the removing of the residue from the paint stripper was a lot more tedious than I was expecting. I'm gonna leave it out in the garage until Josh gets home and he can help me with the sanding and the varnishing because those chemicals smelled pretty strong and we've got, you know, the dogs. So I've gotta make sure anything I bring into the house is safe for them. So I'm gonna let this sit out here and I will update you guys when we get her all the way finished and in the bedroom. A little Amazon package, so I thought we could wrap up this week's video with a fun little unboxing. Since I am the proud new owner of a bathtub, I treated us to a bathtub tray and a bath pillow. I took a bath the other night and the like back of the ceramic tub was really hurting my shoulders, so I thought this would be kind of luxurious since we are definitely in our bath eras because it has been so long since we've been able to take baths. Okay, my camera died and I have no idea how much of that actually filmed, but this actually has like a holder for the foot of a wine glass. That is so amazing. And then these two pieces like slide in so it takes up less space when you're not using it and I imagine this is how you like prop up a book or YouTube um I'm so stoked on this so obviously now we have to take a bath <laughs> 